morning everyone. <clears throat> Sorry I'm a little late. I woke up a little late this morning and had to do laundry. So now everything's finished. Let's continue on. <clears throat> We're back in the slums. Also my voice is a little destroyed from work this week. Oh yes, I remember we're finding his father. Did way too much talking on Thursday. Not so much yesterday, but I also did a lot of drinking, so that doesn't help. Kitty paws, kitty paws. It's taking forever to clean that paint. Tempted to put my head in that bag, but we gotta follow this guy. Okay. Head in the bag. I think I have everything for the part of me. Yep. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry, Seamus. really left the slums. Huh. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. That is a lot of Biological goop. And the Zerks are all sorts of active out here. Still reminds me of the creep from Zerg things in Zergs. In Starcraft. Possibly what they were going for. Look at all these Zerg eggs. They will eat us. I can't do this. Not as fast as you. The Zergs will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. You know that you're free. Oh. I'll open the door for you. Make sure there's nothing in here we can collect. Doesn't look like it. Let's go. We're gonna have to deal with Zerk's chat. scary. Don't want to go in there. Where is my phone? Hmm. Oh. Dead end? Oh, that's not a good name for a place. I don't want to go to a dead end. I can't get back up there. Run.
six. I think that was actually the right way to do that. Ooh, safe now. This looks like the place where we started the game. Kind of. Hmm. Who's this? We must remember, chat. Oh, Scientists I used to work for always said he wanted to retire a little co to a little cottage. Cottage. Fishing all day long. Of course, that was not a possibility in the city, and nobody could have done that for at least a hundred years. When we get to the outside, what if we found ourselves a little cottage with a harmless fishing rod and a lot of books? I think that's what the scientists would have wanted. First, we gotta go find Doc. You don't need a fishing rod, you got a cat. That's pretty good at fishing. Probably. I think so. Maybe not. Any zerks? Our cat makes such a sad sound whenever it jumps a little too far. It's like, rah, rah, rah. Probably gets hurt. Well, definitely lasers around here. Right, we need battery. <coughs> hmm, it's an electric generator, but it seems to require some other part to function. Yeah, we got nothing. There's a zerk in there. Oh no. Careful, chat. Electric generator will turn on something in here. Something up there. not plugged into anything. Nothing up here.
Stuck. Get the shit out of me. You're not a Zerk. Who are you? That's my badge you're wearing. How did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. I've been alone here for ages. I came here to test my defluxer, but it didn't go as planned. Wish you could go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. I think he's supposed to look like Doc from um, Back to the Future. I've seen humans wear costumes like this. They were small and running around making lots of noise. Ah, I guess I remember now. They were children. Their streets felt so much more alive with them. Even with the difficulty they brought, the adults seemed to love them very much. <coughs> Doc says he misses Seamus. Is that the same thing? Maybe. Hey, be careful with that defluxer. A full charge, it can explode zerks like confetti. Ooh. This baby can see 1.21 gigawatts to work. And the only thing around here that can juice is the generator outside the house. Problem is it won't start. I think the fuse blew. And with all the zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go and fix it. Not fast enough, but you just might be. If you can reach the generator and replace the fuse, I should be able to get the defluxer recharged. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what to do. <coughs> Told you it's a doc from... Uh, from Back to the Future. Scratch that sheet. Scratch, 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 scratch. Knock all of those things over. Here, take this fuse. It's brand new. Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some sorts. Once you fix the generator, you should be able to charge and kickstart the flexor. You just need to follow this cable, change the fuse, then meet me back here. That's luck. Hey, what's up, Snow? I'd ask you if you slept, but it's like nighttime for you, so you're probably good. Made some progress in this game. Found Momo, who told us all about his friends. And then we met Seamus, who's the son of the doc, who we were just talking to. Alright, it's all sorts of ways. Uh, Saturday mornings I sometimes stream at this time. Because I don't have work, so. I only stream though if my wife has work. And she had work today, so I'm streaming. So every other Saturday. Oh, you're eating dinner. What are you eating? I need lunch. Not for like another hour or two. I'm pretty hungry though. Turks. used to live in Utah that has like burritos that are like 
bigger than like a five dollar bill but only costs like five bucks oh so good they're always filled mostly with meat Ooh, homemade enchiladas is the best Safe here. All right, now we're good. All right, there we go. Made it this time. Nothing better than when you have a mother that's a good cook. Like my mom was a great cook. Still is. Amazing, you got the generator back up. Have you seen how powerful the deflector is? Definitely our way out of here. Wait a minute. I might be able to mount this deflector to your drone. Ooh. My drone's tiny, though. The deflector's huge. Is he going to shrink a fight? And my wife's a really good cook, too. Which is probably why I'm getting fat. Worked. The deflector is now installed on your fancy drone there. It's not meant to run off such a small power source. If you use it too much, it could malfunction. Oh. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now, let's get back to the village. I'm coming home, son. Oh, if you hit down, it tells you where you're supposed to go. I'm like three hours in this game. Check out all those zerks so we can get through. Wow, it's working great. But as I suspect, it can overheat. Let it cool for a bit when that happens. I hope it will last until we reach the village. It probably won't. I don't mind onions as long as it's not like pure onion flavor. Part of the problem is like there's something wrong with my nose where like the smell of roasted onions, like grilled onions and body odor is exactly the same to me. <coughs> this switch doesn't work. It looks like the electricity has been good. So I don't mind eating grilled onions, but the smell is bad. It smells like some sweaty dude. Roll it over here. And yeah, when I was younger, anytime I'd go to Taco Bell, I'd get a uh, bean burrito, and I would always be like, no onions. But I've slowly come to realize that onions aren't bad in some things. My wife likes onions, so. She puts them in stuff, and I'm like, eh, 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 okay, fine. <laughs> Such a smart kitty cat. Then again, I'm in charge of it, so of course it's smart. Oh no! You overheated. Yeah, I don't mind onions now. Raw onions I can't do though. Mm. Barely saved any time. Unless it's like raw purple onions. Purple onions are bad. Mm, 
I've never thought about that. It's possible. Next time I eat some fruit from a can, I'll see if I can taste the metal. Sorry if my f voice sounds funny. Had a uh, English activity the last two days at work. Basically, the fifth and sixth, or the third and fourth graders and the fifth and sixth graders came, and we did English activities with them. Ooh. Corn on the cob is the best way to eat corn anyway. Like, Japanese people put, like, canned corn on, like, everything. And it's just like, it doesn't fit with, I mean, it's sweet. It doesn't fit with some of the stuff they put it on. Yeah, so, if my voice is weird, I apologize. I spoke for, like, eight hours straight on Thursday. Yesterday I didn't talk nearly as much, but... Aww, love. Father and son. Who knew robots could love? Oh, here's Momo. Or not Momo. Where is Momo? It's the Guardian. Thanks for saving Doc, little friend. It's great to see that Seamus is no longer alone. Now we know that we can fight back against the Zerks. Momo has been waiting for you by the stairs. Ah, that's where Su Momo is. I can actually only eat canned peaches. I'm allergic to peaches. Doc and Seamus look happy. I think we did a good thing together. What about canned uh, pineapple? Because canned pineapple is great. I love canned pineapple. When I was a missionary, every for breakfast I would drink a glass of milk, eat a big old can of pineapple, and eat peanut butter toast. Ah, uh, yeah, that would be difficult. What about canned soda? Do you only drink bottled soda, or do you just not drink soda? I need to find this last bit of sheet music. Is that it? I think it's probably because cola is just so <laughs> strong of a flavor. So if you do drink soda, you got to drink it out of a plastic bottle, I assume. And if you start to taste the plastic, that would suck. Plastic tastes nasty. I may have just jinxed you. You might next time you drink soda, you might be like, "Oh, I can't taste the plastic." Ah! <laughs> Oh, how was your outing with... Ah, glass bottle. There's nothing better than soda out of a glass bottle. Like those bottle of Cokes, like the old school ones. Those are good. How was your ever adventure with your friend? Did you guys have fun? Salesman. Good. 
since you're homeschooled, it's probably hard to get out and socialize sometimes. Well, I wouldn't exactly call you homeschooled. It's more like you're self-schooled. <laughs> Benzu. Mom was waiting for you on his boat. You can join him, but have you done everything you wanted in here? Uh-oh. Nice. <gasps> Maybe went up there. Did I not? I did this before, but it was probably when I quit and didn't save. Sure. You can send it to me in uh, Discord. I've had this haircut since I was in high school. <laughs> the only thing I've ever done, like, weird with my hair was I grew it out when I was 18 or 19 to about here. It was basically a mullet because it was a little bit short in the front and, like, long in the back. And then when it got long, I had my friend bleach my hair. She was a... Not like really a hairstylist, but she it was like her... Her, um... Hobby. But she underestimated how thick my hair was. And didn't get enough of the, uh... The peroxide for my hair. So I ended up with like tiger stripes in the middle. So it was like blonde and then like brownish, orangish tiger stripes in the middle and then like blonde in the back. So I, she's like, well, I have to get to work and you have work tomorrow. So just wear a hat. <laughs> so I ended up wearing a hat for like a whole day. Then she came over the next day and, and um, finished the rest of the bleaching. And my parents, or I was living with grandparents at the time and they were like, so against it. Like, why did you bleach your hair? I'm like, I just wanted something different. My grandpa was just like, ah, oh, you just look silly with your hair bleached. I'm like, eh? you dye your hair, so how is that any different? <laughs> and then, like, a month later, when my roots started, like, showing, I was like, I gotta do something different. So I actually dyed my hair purple. It was supposed to be blue. The bottle actually said blue, but it was purple. It was like a blueberry purple. So I did that, and <laughs> my favorite thing about that was I walked in after I did it to the living room. First I met my grandma in the kitchen, and she's like, Mike, 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 what did you do? I'm like, what? I wanted something different. She's like, ah, we well, have to show your grandpa. So I walked in the living room, and the lights were off. And she's like, honey, look what your grandson did. My grandpa looked at me. He's like, finally, something normal. Because the lights were off. So all he saw was that my hair was dark. And my grandpa's like, wait, turns on the light. <laughs> my grandpa's like, why is your hair purple? I'm like, eh. Wanted it blue. It ended up purple. He was so pissed. But it was terrible. Like, I bought the uh, dye on in a uh, hot topic i don't know if that does hot topic still exist in america but i bought a hot topic so it was cheap and it washed out blue after like a week of shampooing and then it like slowly started like parts of it was still purple parts were blue some of it was gray like the um the gradation dye that you see on like Instagram and stuff like that, I did that on accident. It was actually kind of cool. I wish I had photos of it, but eh. I don't. Alright, let me check Discord.
That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, that was almost the color that I had for uh, my hair. Slightly darker purple. Only slightly, though. And the bottle said purple. Or, bottle said blue. Not that I'm against purple, but blue's my favorite color, so I wanted blue. Yeah, it's a pretty cool uh, hairstyle. I swear I've seen it on, like, I want to say, did Elliot Page have that hair? I swear he did. I may be confused. Short hair is great in the summer. Plus you don't have to dry it. Like that's that's why I do this. My wife is so jealous because she's got long hair. Her hair is down to her mid back. And so <laughs> she gets out of the shower and she's like, ah, oh, got it. In the summer she especially hates it because when you blow dry your hair in the summer, you get super hot. I get out of the sh the shower, go like this, and I'm I'm good. <laughs> She's jealous. She's like, I'm gonna cut my hair your length of my life. that's fine with me. Girls with short hair are cute. And then she's like, nah. <laughs> I think she just does it to like try to trigger me and I'm like, uh Growing up I thought the uh, Sigourney Weaver in Aliens three was hot. <coughs> Down to your knees, that, that's a pretty major hairstyle change if you do cut it that short as you had it in the as you sent me in the photo. <coughs> Cause that's like several feet of hair, depending on how tall you are. I mean if you're a short person then not nearly as long. Are you gonna donate your hair to Locks of Love? I had a cousin used to do that. She would grow her hair long and then cut it short. No, not a cousin, a friend. She'd grow it out for like a year or two and then get it trimmed and then donate it to Locks of Love. Did I find Olive? Oh, well. let's continue on. Five, four and a half. That's about how tall. Uh, no, my wife's shorter. I think. I don't know how she tall is. How tall she is in feet. Because Japan uses centimeters. I think she's like 151, 152. Let's see what that is. 152 centimeters in. Apparently my wife's four foot eleven. I don't think she's that short. So maybe she's a little bit taller. She's probably like five two, five three. Even for Japanese women, she's a little short. But I don't mind short people. Especially short women. Although my first girlfriend was five foot eight, five foot nine, she was pretty tall. girlfriend after that's been short. Short people are fine. Heck, I'm not even that tall. I'm 5'8". Or not 5'8", 5 5'10". 5 Can't believe you found Doc and got the deflexor. With this, now we can go find the Balthazar. I 
butcher that name every time. Let's go. <laughs> yep. Short people are fun. Especially if you're the tall one in the relationship. Because every time they need to like reach something like, ah, man, you're like, oh, here you go. <laughs> My wife doesn't even ask for help now. She'll just try to grab something from like one of the shelves and she's just like, ah. I'm like, oh, do you need help? True, short people are easier to cut. You can be the big spoon. <clears throat> she's just the right height where like if she's on the elevated escalator in front of me and like one step above we're like the same height exactly which I love because then I just sit there and I put my head on her shoulder <laughs> or I give her a kiss because she, then she's like perfect height <clears throat> for the longest time she hated public displays of affection PDAs because she's Japanese and I'm like, nope, we're holding hands, we're kissing every once in a while, I'm going to grab your butt. <laughs> he wants to be the big spoon. Well, tell him you're the taller one in the relationship, so you have to be the big spoon. Although it's good to switch every once in a while. <coughs> hey, where are we going? important to make your significant other happy. That's the biggest Zerg eggs I've ever seen in this game so far. I may have made a mistake. Mistakes were made, chat. Mistakes were made. I angered the Zergs. <clears throat> Every once in a while I let my wife cuddle me and be the big spoon doesn't work very well because we're like six inches height difference. <laughs> Anytime I hug her, she's like sitting there like with her neck stretched all the way up. And so I started, started giving her hugs where like I duck down and hug her and she's like, oh, thanks. So short people are fun and cute, but does make some things a little difficult. Kisses and hugs. Stuff like that. Although, <coughs> I used to work at Toys R Us and there was a guy who used to come in all the time with his wife. He was seven feet tall. She was like 5'2". So they had like two feet of difference. Like, eh, two inches is bad. Yeah, they had like two feet almost of like difference in height, and it was just crazy. Cause like, you see a seven foot tall person, you're like, oh, they're not that tall, and then like a normal person stands next to him, and you're like, oh yeah, they're fucking tall. My dad was six foot three, and he looked big. So, yeah, it's just the weirdest seeing that couple. It's like, how do you guys kiss, hug, other stuff? Never been this far out of the slums with you here. I'm not even scared. It was just weird. I'm like, so many things logistically don't seem to work <laughs> in this relationship. <laughs> Does she have to stand on a? Ah, no problems. No. Does she have to stand on a? Not even a stool. It'd have to be a chair in order to give her husband a hug or a kiss. <coughs>
All this old machinery is broken now. I think we can only open it manually. Uh oh. I'm a little cat. I don't think really I like, do much to manually open a giant door. Welcome back, Snow. How's him pulling that, like, making the whole place shake? Huh, I can't go on with you, but I won't stop looking for a way. When you find Zabaltazar and Clementine, tell him I was free. Alright, Momo. Wait. Momo means peach. Clementine's a type of... Type of uh, orange. Is Zabaltazar also a fruit? Doc's not a fruit, though. Hmm. I thought I saw a pattern, but Doc ruined it. Is that a headless? Oh, that's kind of creepy. For them, it's like us seeing just a headless body hanging from the wall. We're gonna explode. Creepy. So now, have you ever played um, StarCraft? The old Blizzard strategy game. Wow. This stuff looks like uh, ah, son of a... Looks like one of the uh, items in the game. Like, there's a species called the Zerg. In order for them to build their bases, which is the whole point of the game, they have to have creep, which is like this like slime that's like alive and will grow if you have certain buildings called creep generators. And it looks almost exactly like that. Creep's a little bit purpler, but yeah, it looks very similar. So all this stuff reminds me of creep from StarCraft. And the Zerks, which have a very similar name to Zerg, which may not be a uh, coincidence, also look like some of the creatures. Ah, fuck. Also look like some of the uh, creatures from StarCraft. Although what they really look like is, uh, is head crabs from Half-Life. Not nearly as creepy as the head crabs from Half-Life, but pretty much them. I'll send you a picture of head crabs on Discord later. Now Half-Life is a fun game. Oh shit. I'm drunk, chat. Where am I going? I'm going to go over here. No. How? How do I kind of confused why I couldn't go that way. Gotcha. Like, why can't I go up here? They do look like ticks, yes. They're not just like n normal ticks, the ones that have like been eaten, well, drinking for way too long. Have you ever seen like a full like tick? Those things are so creepy because they've got this giant white body and then like little tiny legs. I've actually never had a tick on me before. Yeah, if you're creeped out by 
insects that I do not recommend googling full tick because it's pretty creepy. I sent it over Discord. Like they're slightly cuter head crabs. Head crabs were like the worst. Well, not the worst, but one of the worst enemies I've ever fought in any game because they're super quiet and they jump and they like just land on your head and they'll just kill you from that. So you gotta be like always looking around every corner. You can kind of hear them, but if you're not paying attention, you don't hear them, and then you're just screwed. Are those fucking? Those are fucking eyes. Chat, those are eyes. That is creepy. Not only that, they're eyes. It's that they're like all different sizes of eyes. When they do that, they're somebody third. Creepy as fuck. Are you seeing these, this thing? Fucking eyes. That's the easier way to do that. Spam the button. Uh oh. There's some of the more zerks. Much easier. No. Oh, hopefully you don't have seizures. Or rather epilepsy. Light sensitivity. If you do, I, I apologize. That's good. Because what I just did there probably would have sent you off. Epilepsy would just, like, be so frightening. Like, even if you have little small seizures, not like the major ones. Like, you just randomly tune out for a few seconds or minutes. Ah. Uh, I apologize. Gotta check for secrets. Why can't I run on this? Hmm? It's purple. Are you colorblind in one eye? I don't think I've ever heard of one-eyed color blindness. Have we tried those uh, glasses that like help you with color blindness? I 
Although I think that's only for certain kinds of health items. Like for the longest time. Ah, that's too bad. Yeah, for the longest time, there were all sorts of videos. Like, I guess this was before TikTok, so it would be like Vine videos of people who are colorblind getting gifted those glasses and then like them crying. And I'm just like, uh, I mean, yes, but why are you videoing this? Just so you can get internet points? So yeah, those videos were super popular like five, six years ago. Last long. Alright. Music's all ominous. Open door lock. Now we gotta get to the other side. Uh oh. The eyes are awake. We've woken the eyes, Jet. Part of the reason I was killing someone else. Ah, fuck. Ah. Um, I may have listened to it last night, but I was very drunk last night, so probably not. I'll check it out after the stream when I go to get lunch. I always listen to music when I go to lunch. I was listening to music from my childhood from the 90s for like the last couple of days on Amazon Music. It was like a super long playlist, so that's basically all I've listened to for the last week. I apologize. But I did subscribe to Jax's YouTube channel, so I'll be able to find it pretty easily. What's this? Of all the places to stop to scratch a carpet, that's just weird. I mean, look at this stuff. I got eyes staring at you. Grounds, like, pulsating. This game got really weird. Oh, it's a giant fucking eye. Oh, there's an even bigger eye. Although that eye looks less like an eye and more like a ball sack. I'll have to check her out. Like, it's weird. Ten years ago, I hated all new music. Like, I also hated rap hip-hop and then like something just changed where it was just like usually as you get older you like less and less music but like over the last like five to ten years it's just like meh good music is good music it doesn't matter if it's new or old ah. no b12 Well, sacrifice itself for me. We gotta save our friend. No, 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 no. It's gonna go right, but nope. Game is hit, no. Feels like the game's trying to, uh, 
heard me somewhere. Safe chat. No problem. Wake up, B12. Oh. Phew. It's live. It was dark. I was alone. Felt like I was back in the network. But you saved me. Thank you, friend. Drawing that much power was rough on my core. The fluxer is completely destroyed now. Uh-oh. We'll have to be careful. Oh. With the deflector. Deflexor. He's a hacksaw. Validated. Traveler from the sewers. We haven't seen one of you in ages. Are you the one who contacted us earlier? The little outsider? Yes. The Baltazar, the outsider, has been expecting you. He's meditating at the top of our village. Ant village. Why is it called ant? The scientist I assisted reused one of these. He was sick. This was his last hope. He walked into the machine. But it wasn't him. He was alone. But I wasn't with him, sorry. He was alone. What was he doing? He uploaded himself into the computer and then everything was different. Uh-oh. But the upload, something went wrong. He was stuck for hundreds of years. Until the little cat appeared. Huh? He was his creator. Was it? It was me. I was the scientist. Mm. I was human. I I need a moment. Mm. B12. You were human. Sorry, I need a moment. I don't feel like talking right now. Aww. Well, B12, it's got a process. <laughs> Leave it to a cat to do that. And I just got an achievement or a trophy for it. I saw that was an option. I'm like, this is going to end bad. But I'm a cat. I got to do it. <coughs> cat in a tree. Oh, can't take it. B12's contemplating. I swear there has to be an achievement or a trophy for this. Scratch your nails on like 20 different items. Something like that. Oh, 
Although I wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't a trophy for this also. There was a trophy though for meowing X in that amount of time, so. It's possible there's a trophy for this too. Now that's where he came in. What else have I forgotten? She must have had parents, friends. What happened to everyone? I wanted to open this city. But is there even anyone left to save? That's a good question. B12 is still not up to talking. Which is fine. Something like that. You gotta process it. It takes time. What is this? This is Balthazar. Ooh. <laughs> oh, startled cats are always so funny. Hey, don't you know not to interrupt a fellow during his transcendental meditation? Transcendental. Oh, it's you. You were with Momo when we received that call earlier. Glad to meet you at last, little outsider. You know, Momo and Doc, so you're already familiar with us outsiders. I miss them. Their memory brings me peace. Momo stayed in the slums. I heard you helped find Doc and Clementine. She's in Mintown now. If you still want to see the outside, she's the one who can get you there. Apparently, she had some kind of plan to leave the city. Here, take this. I wrote her address on the back of this picture. Aw, they look happy. To reach Midtown, climb up your little... Up a little bit. You should. It should be easy for a dexterous one like you. If you manage to reach the outside. You will be the very first. I wish you good luck, but you don't need it. I believe you. Oh. He's a nice little person. I'm sorry for shutting down earlier. I'm human. Probably the last of the world. Now, look what's left of me. So much has come back to me. How much have I forgotten? Maybe if I find Clementine, we can restore memories and get you back home at the same time. I can go back down and find out more from companions or head onward to the Let's go back down. Especially since there is a cat down there. This food is actually horrible. That's <laughs> the only thing around. <laughs> I have to unscrew my front casing if I keep eating this trash. People call me the Tin Chef. I specialize in upcycling leftovers. <laughs> Today's special Ramen J45. My secret ingredient. I don't even want to know what a secret ingredient is. Probably that oil. Sleepy again. I'm sleepy as I was yesterday. I was yawning so bad yesterday. No problem. We'll try not to scream too loud if you do fall asleep, Snow. This is a cozy stream. Probably won't be too loud. Perfect for sleeping. Besides, you have terrible sleep habits, so <laughs> you need to sleep as much as you can, Snow. You can't deny it. Purple plant. Gotta stop yawning. I know there are more than 900 shades of white paint. Hmm. Don't tell anyone, but I've been creating my own shade of paint. Uh-huh. I'm calling it garbage brown. <laughs> garbage brown, white. Hmm, it's 
statistically I should have won at least eight times. <laughs> 9,536 games, one, two, six. Don't tell anybody I'm actually programmed to win at this game. <laughs> nice. Poor buddy. May is on in her deconstructivist period, so she says. I'm sure she'll become a great artist. If only she could practice elsewhere. I do love the smell of fresh paint. Reminds me of... Oh, wait. I can't smell anything. How's that? Oh, now we just made it sad. Oh, fuck. We just made Mo much sad. We're terrible, terrible... Monsters chat. Zzz, electric zerk everywhere. Zzz, zzz. Thought he was sleeping. <coughs> Where's the remote control? Dang it. Hello, friend. The soothing sound of trash falling. Shimmering waterfalls. No dangers. It's a blissful place to work on my poetry. Here, listen. The mighty concrete shielding me in its womb. Shall you also be in my tomb? Oh. I think it's too solemn. Maybe a little bit. Probably someone further up. <coughs> oh, maybe someone here. <coughs> Who told you about the secret ingredient? You did. Maybe I should open my own place because it's really kicking in for this. You don't. All you can eat buffet. Everything. Imagine that. I could eat that stuff forever. GP Udon. Hi. Hey, buddy, how are you? You know that Aunt Clementine taught us how to grow special plants that can live without sunlight? I have a huge collection of them. Do you want to see? I'm still missing some colors, though. This is a yellow plant, a red one, and yes, a purple plant. If only someone small and agile could get them for me. I have purple. Oh, I heard it's a rare plant. Thank you. Did you find the other one for me? Sure. We need red and a purple now. Or red and a yellow... I'm hungry now. <coughs> I'm bored. Matt Clementine used to hold classes here. We learned a lot of cool stuff. <coughs> Alright, let's keep our eye out for <coughs> different colored plants. Yellow and a red one. 
is yellow. <clears throat> hmm. Can't go that way, apparently. Let's keep going up. Pretty good at climbing. Again, I am a cat. So. This is a subway station. I had completely forgotten this kind of transportation existed. You could ride it to anywhere in the city. People used to take it to go to work. I used to take it too. Every morning after saying goodbye to my family at home. Ah. I remember. I was doing this for them. But they're gone now. It was so long ago. No. They wanted to see the outside, but does that even matter anymore? What happened to them? What happened to everyone? Very good question. Anyway, we're near Midtown now. Let's find this club tag. We have a picture of her. We can show it to some of the companions around here. Maybe they'll point us in the right direction. Sounds like a plan. Any violation of rules can result in of heavy prison. Mm. Interesting English. It's closed. Can result in not of but of. In memory. So many books here. Turing test legacy. The ethics of artificial intelligence. I recognize some of these. Did I have a library? I remember nothing, but it was quite like the smell of books in the turn of a page. It was a feeling, almost like comfort. It is fun reading book books. The book was like spending time with someone. The doc.
Nickel. Don't worry about it. trash. Nickel Corporation takes care of everything. Nickel means cat. Japanese, but it's spelled with a K. Already told you five times, Yosh. You can't run around like that. It's dangerous. Hey, this is the first time I've seen this kind of robot. You look so fluffy. Oh, it's the girl displayed on this wanted screen, right? Uh oh. You should ask somebody else. I'm too busy with Yoshi here to know anything. Wanted Clementine Troublemaker, Outsider, Rebellious. Please report any sign of things. Uh oh. I'm trying to find a wanted criminal. Oh. Leave the cops, it look like. Yeah, it makes sense. Cops look like uh, security cameras. Access to lower levels is restricted due to organic life hazards. Please keep out of this area. Luckily, I'm a cat. I don't live by rules. Except for the ones I make for myself. Oh, he's so cute. to walk on that mesh as a cat. Hello, friend. Yeah. <laughs> cat tripping people. Also a cat thing to do. What am I going to eat for lunch, chat? I also kind of want to drink more today, but I drank yesterday, and the day before that, and the day before that. So that'd be four in a row. That might be too much. Especially since if I start now, it'll be a very heavy drinking day. Please take your identity. Operate, or we'll have to transfer you to jail and reboot you. Please leave me alone. I'm not the one you're looking for. You're looking for Clementine. I'm sure she's hiding in the residence. That's a catwalk. Reach Midtown. Consider this. Tomorrow, if I replace my arm with another robotic arm, and then the next day my other arm too, and my body, and so on, till I've replaced all my parts and upgraded my software, will I be the same robot you are talking to now? Oh, hey. What are you showing me right now? A bunch of people I don't know. My guess is that they probably have a massive housing building further uptown. Uh -huh. Do what you want with that. A philosopher robot. Cautious of the sentinels. They're quick to make arrests for no good reason. Don't worry about me, babe. I'm good. Oh. Like humans. day long to gather the waste and send it downstairs where they recycle and repurpose it. Speaking of downstairs, it's been a while since we had news from them. 
cool picture, that one. Set an address on the back. Or symbolize the street. And then there's a floor and a door. Ah. Should be pretty easy to find. That well, was nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Find the street and the floor and the roof. Sorry, little one, can't over here. Echo Corp Factory is no place for a little fuzzball like you. Uh, me a fuzzball. Access is restricted, but only for a little while. In a few years, we'll be open right back. Cat, I don't think I've waited a few years. Ah, cat in a box. Cat in a box. This game's cute. I'm busy, what do you want? Was off. Oh, he's not a very nice guy. Talk with the bouncer. Cups clothes get lost. This place is huge. Dude wearing a wizard hat. You've been in the city below? I had a friend there, Fifi. I haven't seen him in ages. He's stone a bar. It's the coziest place around here. Until I took a screwdriver in the knee. <laughs> oh, that's a great reference. Even if this guy bums me out. He's my only customer. Try not to scare him away, please. Oh, well, that was awesome. That was a Skyrim reference chat. Oh, my voice needs a rest. A police officer is just sleeping on the job. Can I put my head on? Oh. Do not proceed further. The access to the outside is fully restricted. The elevator has been disabled. The exterior is unsafe. Do not proceed further. I figured the uh, cops probably have robotic voices. I just walked near the elevator and I got yelled at by sentinels. For years we've been told that the surface is uninhabitable, but just accept this as fact, but why? You know what, my friend? Stay away from the sentinels. They're vicious and they got my buddy Pablo. He's in for 350 years. Wow. That is some awesome hair. That's almost Marge Simpson level hair. What can I do for you tonight, chef? Can't you pay me with real money? I'm a cat. I don't have real money. I'm going to knock all your pots down. Because you weren't nice to me. So what achievements are there in this one?
All right, scratching every chapter. Sorry, shop's closed. Waiting for the delivery guy, but it seems they are taking their sweet time. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. to sleep. On the stomach of a robot cowboy. Cowboy robot. Hmm. It's like the pirate ghosts. Conundrum from uh, South Park. Tried downloading an aimbot to be the best at this game, but ended up with malware. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure why, but everything seems odd now. I've mastered every game that ever existed, but I can't figure out how this one works. Am I not seeing the whole picture here? Aha, uh -huh, because he's camera. Why is every single photo of outside the exact same photo? That seems weird. No totem, like pretty much everything. What will be today, little sir? The world must seem gigantic from your little eyes. This I could be as tiny as you, so I could explore new places. So much to explore in this place. Cause I'm little. My favorite drink is oil. What's yours, Mammoth? Does someone talk to us? Why is this rude? Is he huffing? Canned air? Hmm. That seems wrong. Isn't it so cool right now? So chill. I think that nothing bad could happen to us. He's vaping. Whistles. Oh, it looks comfy. This must be the residence. Hey, dumb face, we can see you too. Life is boring since the signals put cameras in our residence. Hey, those tapes are ours. Don't you know not to steal? I could give you one, but you'll have to do something for Genma, Miko, and me. Sentinels have installed three security cameras to watch over us. We don't like that at all. Can you get them off our backs? Oh, I see how it is. I get a tape if I destroy stuff. Ah, I'm a cat. I like destroying stuff. And the other two. I assume they're on higher levels.
She might be on a higher level. Hmm. I don't understand. Oh well. So we got one. Ah, there's the other one. Where's the third one? Destruction. The thing cats are great at. Now they can dance. What the? I didn't think you could do it. You take your prize here. Great. So we need... Ooh, right. <laughs> Three and five. Let's open more level. Three and three, three and two. Three and four. Doesn't exist, chat. There is no three and five. Three, one, three, two, three, three. Three, four. Aha. Did exist. Was just hiding. Let's meet Clementine. Then I think I might even stop there. Cause I am hungry. Thought uh, you were sent. Never mind. Who are you? What do you want? Wait. So it's about to start. Finally decided to send someone. Guess you're my new recruit. You're not very big. How did you even manage the service? Guess you must be pretty resourceful. I've been looking for a way to the outside ever since I left Ant Village. But the Sentinels are always watching. Now that you're here, you can help. Follow me. up, sir? <laughs> I'm just going to pretend like I know what you're talking about. You missed it. Snow was on earlier, but I think Snow fell asleep. to a new spot. We found Doc, we found Momo, found Zabaltazar, and now we found Clementine. I was actually shooting uh, light and destroying the Zerks earlier. We're gonna plan to use this old subway for a while. 
I even have the keys to start it. All I need is an atomic battery to power. I know a nickel port machine has one secured inside the factory. I have a contact who can help us infiltrate them. I don't know his name. He's the robot with a bomber jacket and a gold chain. Ah. Take that off. Someone small and swift like you should have no trouble sneaking inside the factory. One last thing. Don't hesitate to ask around for help. The city is full of information. Just stay clear of the sentinels. <laughs> yeah, for a while. After we met Doc, he gave us the... Fluxator. I think it's what... He looks exactly like... Um, Doc Brown from... From uh, Back to the Future. And he said he needed 1.2 gigawatts. So. Yep. He looked exactly like him. And so he gave us the ability to shoot lasers from our little drone's eyes, but he got distracted by a giant eye, which just sounds weird. <laughs> You'll have to watch the uh, VOD or my upload on YouTube later, but yeah. He got distracted by a giant eyeball, my little drone buddy. I got attacked by the Zerks, and then he burned out his laser beam eyes, saving me. It was a pretty interesting series of events. Yeah, the sewers were creepy as fuck. There were Zerks everywhere. And they had giant eyeballs controlling them. So, yeah, attack the laser. Busy, what do you want? Where did you get that? Oh, you're with the. Ah, uh, 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 my contact. Yeah, I've got a YouTube and a Twitter. Basically, on Twitter, all I do is say, hey, start my stream soon. Come watch. Yeah, I don't like TikTok. The fact that, like, the Chinese government basically controls it is weird. Let me brief you about the atomic battery. And Instagram's just photos for the most part. And I don't like photos of myself. Battery is powering the nickel corp factor right there. But this whole area is restricted. Heavily guarded. They check every person who enters and turns away anyone who is not a worker. I'm not a person. Yeah, I think that's what happened too. Here's an idea. Go get me a worker jacket and a worker helmet while I stay here to check for a good time to enter. Ah. Yeah. I always thought TikTok would go the same way that Vine went. Because Vine was huge for like two years and then nobody vines anymore. I think it was the fact that like it was so restrictive. You could only have such short videos, so. Yeah. Which is probably why TikTok sold to some giant Chinese company. Because I don't understand, like, how could you make money from something like that? Like, my outfit is important for security. I got it from the clothes shop and the hat shop. But I doubt you have your little one. <laughs> now they have your side, little one. Alright, clothes shop. Oh, are we going to be stealing chat? Cut. Yeah, that's probably what they do. No, 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 you're not gonna steal that. Oh, he's got us. He's got us covered. We're gonna have to distract him with music. It's not too hot. Or too loud, because Snow is sleeping. I feel bad about that. Snow is sleeping. Hopefully Snow is still sleeping. We got caught stealing. 
I'm gonna distract him with loud music. It's the only way you can do it. Alright, now we need the hat. From the hat shop. Where's the hat shop? Oh, there's the hat shop. Hattor won't let us in. Nobody came to the shop while it's being restocked. Seeing how incompetent those two are, it might be a while. I've been waiting for ages for Stiplatch to get back and help me restock these hats. The boss is not happy. That guy's slacking off at the bar again. Here's another thing. Oh okay, yeah, we're going to the bar. My voice sound weird. Sir Cluppy. Culpy, sorry. I'd use your real name, but some people don't like that. I think I drank too much last night, plus all of the talking lately. Where's the motherfucker in the bar? Oh, oh. I'm pretty sure this is the dude. Oi, oi, wake up. Oh, we gotta... <laughs> oh, this is going to be awesome. Huh. Either way. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Cats are such assholes sometimes. Dude's just sleeping. <laughs> Robot's just sleeping and I just... Uh -huh. <laughs> Giant crate filled with bottles. <laughs> Poor guy. It's like the video I saw on Reddit of a guy just sleeping, like literally just sleeping in his bed, and he has like water on on a shelf above his head. Like you know, when you wake up and you're like thirsty, so you can drink. Cat just comes up and is just like, me, me, me. knocks it onto his head. Imagine sleeping and all of a sudden you're just like drenched with an entire cup of water. <laughs> I know. Cats can be such assholes. And you know they're doing it on purpose. Oh, sneaky cat. In the box. I think there's actually a subreddit that it's cats. That's called cats being assholes. There is one that's cat that's animals being jerks. I check that one out every once in a while. It is a subreddit for almost anything. So I assume since you grew up on not necessarily a farm, I guess more of a ranch. You probably had cats. Because you can't have a ranch without cats. Here, you guys were jerks, so we're going to scratch up the carpet. <coughs> scratch carpet, scratch carpet. If you had cows, you definitely had dogs. That's what cats do. My mom's, <laughs> my mom has a cat or had a cat. I think all of her cats died. And instead of like killing an animal and then like bringing it to her, she'll grab <laughs> the cat. Will like name was Cooper, so he would grab live lizards and then bring them inside and let them go <laughs> inside the house. <laughs> yeah, my mom doesn't mind lizards, but like nobody wants like a live baby iguana in their house. <laughs> so, her cat is kind of a jerk. The worst apparently was it once caught like a little bird, like a sparrow, and brought it into the house and let it go and it was just flying around inside the house. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I mean, I get it. They're trying to be like nice and like, look what I brought you a present, but nobody wants a dead animal. Robot just told me to turn around so he could get dressed. It's a great little snug around the waistline, but it'll do. I right, hop in this box and I'll sneak you across the checkpoint. Ooh. Another cat in a box. That is interesting. Old fat dog. Cut a bird. Alive. <clears throat> Although my fat dog when I was growing up used to always catch cicadas. Like they'd stick on the wall outside of our house. And she'd just be like... <laughs> Do it all the time. That dog would eat anything. I once like had a penny, and, like anything you throw her, she just. So I had like a penny and I threw it to her and she just oh, didn't even chew, just swallowed it. I was like, ooh, yeah, I'm gonna stop doing that now. <laughs> oh, they're just joking around. Uh, yeah, that's that's a pretty easy lesson to learn. I think we did have a dog who tried to eat a bee once. He was not a smart dog. Oh, we gotta be careful. Avoid the uh, the drones. Yeah, dogs and cats can be stupid. Sometimes. But that's why they're cute and fun. My wife really wants a cat, but our apartment won't let us have cats or dogs. I want a dog. <coughs> Grow <up. coughs> Sorry. Grow up with dogs, it's weird not having them. So if I end up having to move because of this job. After three years, I usually end up having to leave. But if we do end up having to move, we're going to find a new apartment that allows cats and dogs. I'm also allergic to cats, so I'm going to be one of those people who has to, like, ah. oh. Did you see that? That thing just lasered me. What the fuck? The fuck? <laughs> it just got dark real quick. I mean, the other things were like rabid beasts that ate me, which is, yeah. It's not so bad, but like, this is just like a death drone that shot. I know. <laughs> it just shot me. Like, not once, it was just like. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Like once to be like, okay, that was a little violent, but not too bad. But no. Fuck thing shot me three times. It's like blah blah blah. Definitely not a comfy game now. Especially since it's got a... Uh... Ooh, I lost the keys to my place in the Stark and Huge Factory. <coughs> if no place to go, more work here. By any chance you could help me find them. I'm grateful. I'm going to go get some water real quick. My throat's getting scratchy. Here, back. I decided to get coffee instead. I'm getting sleepy. Yep, Thursday was just tough. And you have to remember, you had... Oh, Sean to pick up the slack. I had nothing. It was just me. Plus, I was playing Karta, which requires, like... 
A loud voice. And we gotta go down. <laughs> no, you can complain anything you want. It's good to complain. Build camaraderie. Or something, I'm sure. Yeah, sorry for the Cletus Slackjawed Yokel comment last night. <laughs> I can be a jerk sometimes when I drink. I apologize. Oh, there's something else I'll send you later. <coughs> like I said, I was watching uh, old Simpsons episodes, and there's that one where it's like the 22 stories, like the 22 short, short stories about all the people who live in uh, Springfield. And there's one of the stories that... Uh, It's uh, like this giant dude in the tiny car, and Nelson's just like, ha ha. And when I saw that, I remembered <coughs> seeing you yesterday in the car when you were getting ready to go home. Because I, I can never remember that woman's name, the uh, helper lady. Her car is tiny, and you look so huge in it yesterday. <laughs> I, I laughed hard. Oh yeah, Yumi. Like Yumi's car is tiny. And I it, like saw you and I was like, oh man. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. Pointed it out to Brian and he started laughing. I was like, I feel big in some Japanese cars, especially the tiny ones, but you just look gigantic. It was fucking hilarious. It's like Whoa. When I saw that episode, or that, uh, yeah, that episode of The Simpsons and just reminded me of you in that car. I'll send it to you later. Right? At least when people are, like, sitting behind me and I have shotgun, I try to move my seat up as far as possible because Japanese cars are tiny. Yeah, that's just rude of them not to give you shotgun. Although, did you call it? If you didn't call it, then, well, that's your fault. Because <laughs> you know how it is. If you don't call shotgun, it's your fault. Alright, so we can, can we make, like, a shortcut or something? No. Alright, so I'm pretty sure if we go through, the alarms go off. But if we do this, ah, uh, that's unfortunate. If they got there first, yeah, nothing you could do about it. Yeah, you, you seem like the head pitching kind. It's like inside is just like but doesn't say anything outside <laughs> which is how I am too in the same way oh are we gonna be right around on this thing <laughs> you're the head bitch just so long as you're not butter's bottom bitch One of my favorite, absolute favorite South Park episodes. Butter's Bottom Bitch. Oh no, that was me adding, allowing it. I had a major issue with uh, people spamming uh, for 
like uh, what sort of want? Um, like there's the spam for followers. Like I had so many problems with that, and it was just like getting annoying. So one of my mods set up an auto auto mod for me. All right, we gotta figure out what to do. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. Get him over here, climb up on him, and then jump right over. So it's kind of fun how there's puzzles. Like, not all the puzzles are hard. Some are just way too easy. But it does make you think, which is fun. Gotcha! This one on here. So we're trying to oh, no, 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 no. trying to steal this battery. Come on, buddy. Right, what I'm gonna assume is. Oh no, we need it this way. All right, sorry. Come back over here, buddy. We need you to do that. Now I'm gonna hop in here, pull this over here. Look at me, puzzle master. Then again, I did beat both the portals, so. Yep, 400 IQ. That's me. Ah, fuck. <laughs> this cat is terrible at being a thief. Every time he steals something, he gets fucking caught. Uh, I think I like one better than two. Simply because, like, the story was better and you didn't have to deal with the, the double... Like, you didn't have to control both of your robots, which was kind of annoying. I mean, it did add some to the... to the puzzle aspect, but... Yeah. Plus, like, they added too much. Like, the two portals was perfect. And then they decided to add the... the blue in the orange sludge which was bouncy or speedy at that point it's just like oh my brain hurts yeah like the gels just started to make my brain hurt it was like okay i gotta bounce here and then i gotta speed here and like with just the two portals you had to be more innovative you had to think. Like, okay, put this portal here. And it was a lot easier to, like, cheese some parts. Where, like, if you could just get, like, perfect angle, you'd be like, whew. But with gel, you had to be, like, in the right spot where the gel could stick. <laughs> yeah, blah, blah, blah. I don't care about your memories. <coughs> Although with a game like Portal, you have to wonder if some of those were cheese or if it was like the way it was supposed to go. Ah, crap. Clementine's in trouble, chat. You can steal our spot, but you can't steal our moves. Hey, you think you could stop us from hanging in our digs? Right? Like, the, the people who made Portal, I'm pretty sure there was no cheese. They were like, no, this is all the way to do it. <laughs> do you think the criminal is eyeing my collection of vintage cards? 
All this work for nothing. Well, cops won't let us in. Oh, never mind. So cops let us in, but now we gotta deal with the fucking sentinels. Up the stairs, run! This kind of reminds me of playing, um, like this part. Reminds me of playing uh, Metal Gear. Metal Gear Solid. All the times you have to, like, sneak around past patrols. You get caught, you see, you get shot. Best place to hide is in boxes. Still Metal Gear vibes. In the box. <laughs> now talk about a game that's like just got the most convoluted story ever. Yep. Like I enjoyed Metal Gear Solid Five up until the point where it's like, okay, now you just gotta go do everything over again. It's like, the fuck? Like it could have ended at that halfway point, and I would have been perfectly fine. I was like, yeah, that was good. But no, stupid game's gotta be like, now you gotta do it all over again in reverse order. It's like, what the fuck? The guy took way too long to unlock the rocket punch in that game, and that thing was so fun. <laughs> it's nothing better than just like slowly flying your rocket punch and then just push, dig somebody in the face. Yeah. The other problem with that game is there were so many. Like, well, it's the same with other Metal Gear Solid games, but there's so many. Uh, punishment for killing in that game. Like, you got so rewarded with stealth and for putting people to sleep as opposed to killing. So, like, you could kill people, but then you'd end up in, like, a big old like, gunfight or firefight and that was just fucking annoying. So, sleep darts were so much more powerful. Plus, you never knew if you were going to kill somebody who was, like, super high rank. Yeah. yeah. Plus, you never knew if you were going to... If you accidentally killed, like, a super strong uh, recruit. So every time you had to kill somebody, you'd be like, All right, let's check. Ah, uh, no, they're a fucking idiot. <laughs> pretty crazy. Clem? Hmm. No sign of Clementine. Oh, what's that? Looks like some kind of a coded message. I'm going to have to play detective to figure out what happened to her. Look. 4B12 in the cat. The answer lies in my stuff. And then there's four symbols. Signed Clementine. Take a look. I didn't, but it's actually available for free on PlayStation Premium, so that might be the next game I play. <laughs> exactly. Good soldier, I'm going to put you to sleep, tie you to a balloon, and send you into the sky. Oh, you're, <laughs> you're terrible. <laughs> Sorry. I love sniping in that game. The sniper is so strong. Once you unlock the good sniper. Uh. Like some of the like the fifty cal with the with the um silence on it. Oh so strong. Yeah, Kojima makes good games, but man are they weird. Alright. 
The sensors can only detect harmless chemicals in a gaseous state. They can't recreate this calming sensation I remember. Like me, companions can't smell, so I wonder why they do this. There's also a message hidden under the container. It says, I'm with blah, 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 blah. Alright, so we got the first part. Yeah, Kojima makes good games, but they're just weird. Yep. Message 2. Stem is of medium value and low purity. The glow seems to have been added artificially. Maybe it acts the beacon for us to find something useful. Bingo! There's a message. It says, I'm with Blazer. I'm with Blazer. Oh, we can sleep. Yeah, Kojima games are weird just the way that, uh, the, the Neon Genesis Evangelion, like, show was weird. Like, the actual anime was weird, not the movies. Like, where it was just weird to be weird. Huh, what an odd thing to have in an apartment. Is this the way the companions were seeing humans? It's kind of funny. Look, something's been left here. It says, come to. So I'm with Blazer, come to. We need a plant, I think it's the last one. Another. We need. Oh, there's a bunch of lava lamps. So we need a lava lamp. There it is. Oh. Not that lava lamp. There should be one in every room, so that's that one. No. Ah, there it is. I have no idea what it is, but it's glow is kind of mesmerizing. Sorry, I was also... Last time you spaced out on me, B12, you got me killed. Almost. Can you know this message reads? Nightclub. Alright. I'm with Blazer. Come to the nightclub. That's it. Well done, Lieutenant Cat. Now let's go find her. We don't have much time. Oh, have you seen, Mike, that, uh... There's a... A manga called... Uh, detective butt Oshiritante Like that's literally what he is He's he's a butt His face is a butt Like Think the South Park episode where um, You meet Ben Affleck's Parents That kind of a butt Which like literally uh, just look up Oshiri Tante, I think is what it is. Or just Japanese detective, but. Well, no. Uh, you might. That, that might be a. Dev, no, that might be a bad thing to Google. <laughs> Japanese detective and butt. You might end up with weird porn. I hate this club. It's full of posers, but at least there's no sentinels. Danger group levels at 2%. Please find a dancing spot immediately. <laughs> Instructions unclear. Now looking at porn. Ah, oh, we gotta go through the back. Uh, 
That is one of my favorite, like, memes. Instructions unclear, dick now on fire. Stuff like that. <laughs> This dude get up here. I mean, I'm a fucking cat. He's a giant robot. Howdy, how are you doing today? Is your name Late Killer? Hello. Hey, how'd you get up here? You wanna party with us? Here, jump in and go get a drink. Hey, we're in the club. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait, wait. Yeah, we just stole alcohol. What the fuck? That was weird. Now he's going to remember drinking. When I was human, my friends and I would gather and party long into the night, even if we had to suffer the annoying consequences the next morning. Felt good to find joy despite the unlivable surface. And the underground living conditions became more and more squalid. And the capitalistic greed of companies like Nequil Corp. And the police state created by Sentinels. Now I remember why we were doing that. Because life fucking sucked and you had to get drunk. Duh. Life sucks, work sucks, then you gotta get drunk. I mean... Yeah. Snow's not watching anymore, so... I, I, I can be a bad influence. <laughs> yep. So we stole a drink. Now we gotta go give it to somebody, I'm sure. Dude's got a dragon head. Back my mask, made it myself. Jams the sentinel scans, and it looks cool. I I need that. Why why are they just holding a lever? <laughs> this club sucks. Ah. Uh, when I tried to get to that stupid VIP room, they kicked me out. Me? Can you believe it? So I sold this lever just for kicks. <laughs> give me a drink? I'll give this silly lever. I don't need it, and I don't want to be caught with it. Ah, I already have a drink for you. Oh, thanks, my friend. You go as promised. I'm trying to remember, there's a game. I used to play where like Oh, it's like those um those Monkey Island games where you have to like pick up random shit, give it to somebody who will give you other random shit that you give to somebody else that allows you to get into rooms. Sigama. I pay to get Extra to get tonight's dance moves from the bouncer. He's the one programming the holograms in his spare time. Yeah, it's just a point and click with like just really random shit you need to do to get other random shit to get other random shit, which eventually will get you what you need. Hey everybody, DJ Matsy here. Let's get this party started. First song has been requested by a very questionable friend. Blazer! Yeah, where is your questionable friend, Blazer? I need him. Uh oh. Ah, that's how we get up. He's gonna turn it back on. Ha ha 
Aha. We're up behind the scenes chat. Uh oh. What are we going to do now? Push buttons. What does that do? Oh, that raises. That lowers. I think probably this one. Oh. Oh, fuck. This could be annoying. Who designed shit like this? You push this button, these go down. But if you push this button, these go down. That's true. We are a bunch of dum dums. Oh, can't make it. So we need to maybe do that. That one right there we don't need. We need the one that's like far off in the distance. Maybe. Dude does have cool hat. Ah, there we go. Okay, that's what we need, chat. We steal his hat. I have a very good relationship with the Sentinels. I don't understand why people complain so much about them. Well, obviously, it's because you're fucking rich. Rich people have very good relationships with all police officers. Duh. <laughs> and the hat. It's obvious the hat. Huh? Fucking kidnap Clementine. <laughs> Down with the proletariat. Ah, uh, Lisa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How is she muffled? It's a fucking robot. Oh, blazer. <sighs> Two birds with one stone. You're not as clever as you look, little cat. Anyway, nothing personal. Business is business. Ah, uh, yeah, sad, sad Walking Dead game. We got double crossed by Blazer. You seem so cool. Like an asshole. Is she sweating? I think Clementine's sweating. <laughs> what the fuck? Business is money. And I value money way more than friendship or camaraderie. They are all yours. Uh oh. Ah! I just got shot again. Only this time it was a stun gun, not like an actual gun gun. Alcatraz. Ah ha ha. Alcatraz. But with cat. That's true, I am a cat, so I have nine lives. I just lost one. Poor cat. This is a tiny little cage. Yep, now I'm naked again. There we go. Can't keep a cat in a cage. Hasn't anybody ever learned that cats don't like cages? <coughs> they will find a way out. That, or if you ever tried to remove them from the cage, <laughs> they will scratch your fucking eyes out. My mom, or my sister used to work at a, uh, at a vet clinic. She was one of the secretaries, but every once in a while she had to help uh, 
the nurses, especially when they were having troubles with a cat, and they had like this giant like leather glove that went up like all the way to your shoulder for the really angry cats. <laughs> Even with that, she still come home with like scratches every once in a while. Yep, no consent. Shit, I think I'm stuck, cat. Chat. There we go. That extra two inches. Couldn't make that jump. Jail! Alright, we gotta find a place to scratch in this one. Somebody was saying on Twitter that, like, this is only a three hour long game. <laughs> like, what the fuck are they doing on this game to beat it in three hours? Because I've been playing for three hours today. Are they just, like, speedrunning this shit? There's a, a, an achievement to beat the game in three... Or a trophy to beat it in two hours. Four and a half hours. There's the extras. Oh, probably getting all of the... Uh, all of the um, collectibles. Yeah, somebody was like, beat the game in three hours and it cost me 30 bucks. That's $10 an hour. That's more than I get paid or something like that. It's like, eh. an hour 32 minutes. Damn. That means the trophy to beat it in two hours is pretty difficult trophy, it sounds like. This game was definitely very cozy until I got to this city. Now there's murderous robots and people being tortured. <laughs> Probably. I have, for the most part, stop buying games on launch and I have other than games that I know are going to be good I've stopped pre-ordering because I've been burned by that way too many times like I pre-ordered um, No Man's Sky yeah <laughs> that was terrible I mean, it's a fun game now I pre-ordered No Man's Sky got burned by that uh, I think I pre-ordered Assassin's Creed Unity? The shitty one that, uh. That was set in. Um. France. That was so fucking buggy. So, like, after pre ordering, like, three or four games that just, like, absolutely sucked, I just was like, nope, I'm not pre ordering a game unless it's, like,. A game by a studio I know will not fuck it up. So I will pre-order the new God of War Ragnarok, because, yeah. You <laughs> omelette de fromage. <laughs> Can't believe how hard you made me laugh, though. I think it was partially because I was just tired from the DB4, too. Yeah, that was just fucking hilarious. I'm sure Ujima san was like, why is he laughing so hard? He's all, all Mike did was speak French. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> it's the French he spoke. Ah! Did you just see me? Did you see that? I wonder if I could do that again. <laughs> Cat's bugged. We're in trouble, chat. Um, we may have to restart. Every time I jump down. Yep. Bugged. Reload last checkpoint.
We're going to lose three minutes. Just as long as it doesn't have 13 lives. Because that would be unlucky. Yep, no speed run. No way I'm going to get world record. Last three minutes. I actually watch a pretty uh, semi-famous speedrunner sometimes. He has a speed, speed, speed run, speed run. Uh, what would be the uh, the proper way to say that? He hasn't done a speed run for years, but yeah, uh, I watch Grand Pooh Bear every once in a while. He hasn't speed run it. <laughs> I he hasn't run to speed. <laughs> Fucking English. <laughs> hey, it's that mic wave wavelength. My wife hates the uh, the word have. Like, cause have she thinks is like something that you have but have can also mean many things like I have to do something or I could have done that so like I I try to use have as much as possible she's like how do you say this in in English and I'm like how can I use have in this sentence <laughs> just to make her like why have because you hate it and I had to use it she's like Arr. Why I hate half. Like I know. That's why I came up with a way to use half. Just to make her angry. You forgot the three forms of two as well. Two, two, and two. <laughs> Shorty and shouty. I had to try to explain air quotes when I was in uh, my first junior high school. I was like, oh yes, sometimes people get together and they go to a New Year's Eve party and they... <laughs> and somebody's like, wait, wait, why did you go like this? And I was like, um, yeah. Like, it's when you mean something, but you don't really mean what you mean. <laughs> You say something, but you don't quite mean what you're saying. Mm. <laughs> They're like, what? I don't understand. I'm like, um, hard to explain. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm going over to her house to study. <laughs> It's like, you're not really going to study. You're going to make out. I'm going to my girlfriend's place to study. Everybody knows you're not really studying, but... We got the keys. <laughs> you wish you had a call later with Frankie. Although, I have to say, Sean was pretty thirsty. He, he was a little thirsty there. You were somewhat thirsty for the class. <laughs> Sean was just like, I'm like, I don't think I've ever heard of Sean talk this much. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> She's so hot. It's like, she can hear you. The mic's still on. <laughs> uh, 
I like Sean. He's he's an interesting guy. <laughs> Wonder what she smells like. Creepy. I think that is probably one of the creepiest things you could ever say about a woman. I wonder what she smells like. No. <laughs> no. Clementine. <laughs> I wonder what shampoo she uses. Eh. It, it's, it's slightly below the kind of like goes along with the I wonder what she smells like because the smell would be usually shampoo. Did you just sniff my hair? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sniffing somebody's hair is pretty uh creepy too. I have to ban you for creepy statements. <laughs> uh, yes, selling your bathwater is pretty creepy. Ah, no. I'll, I'll do you one better. I wonder what her bathwater tastes like. <laughs> Not I wonder what she tastes like, because that's creepy, but I wonder what her bathwater tastes like. That's even creepier. did not read that. I wasn't on Twitter until I started streaming, really. Like, because somebody... Actually, it was my wife. She was like, if you want to get do good on, like, streaming and YouTube, you gotta, like, do Twitter, too. Shit, shit, shit. is a creepy tweet. And he didn't take it down. It stays like that, I'm glad I'm not a woman. Or reasons like that, I'm glad I'm not a woman. It's meant to be fucking creepy. Ah! Hey, no more lives. I'd also be an ugly woman. Yep, he died. wrong, but eh. <laughs> the other thing my wife suggested was I should try to do shorter, like, videos, which would require me to learn how to edit. Uh, like I saw a post on Reddit that was um, like fun and uh, interesting uh, builds that are like based off of a like an idea. Yeah. 
there'd be stuff like a uh, uh, what's what I want? An idea that you have a theme. One of them was Unga Bunga, which is basically you're just a a barbarian. So I made videos of those builds, and I just need to piece them together. But man, editing fucking sucks. If I get big, I'm not gonna do my own editing. I'm gonna pay somebody to do my editing. Although my wife wants to learn how to edit, so maybe I'll just make her my editor. Basically what I did was just follow the guide. <laughs> True. My manager's already all lined up. But I followed the guide that he posted and then just showed how to get the items you need for that guide. It's actually kind of fun to do. I just need to put all the pieces together. That's bullshit. Through the window! Hey, we made it back. Yep. Like, I do not envy the person who beat Elden Ring the first time. Because <laughs> there were no guides online, so it's just like completely blind Elden Ring playthrough. That'd suck. Yep, actually, I beat that boss with a guy who was named Let Me Solo Her. I don't know if it was the real Let Me Solo Her, but it was somebody with that name. And holy crap, he did solar. Felt like I was trapped in my lab's computer system room. All alone. Oh, poor B12. You came back for me. I can't believe it. You're a good friend. Yeah. Yeah, probably was. I don't remember if he's PlayStation player or if he's a PC player. But it was dressed... The guy was dressed exactly like him and... Uh, he soloed her. I like literally just stood back and did nothing. And like the very last bit of damage I ran in there, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so technically I killed her, but not really. I'm so glad that we're all together again, but we're not safe yet. We need to find a way out of here. Can you open that door just there? Leave it B12. He's a hacker. Not just a vitamin, he's a hacker. Okay. Knock over those bricks. Yeah. I use the brick and smash a window. We're like a terrible influence on Clementine. We're giving her bricks so she can smash windows. Stealing shit. We're a terrible influence as a cat. Can I jump on you? There you go. I know. That's what cats are though. They're delinquent makers. Get through here. It's chain link. 
Those sentinels are blocking the way again. They will spot me instantly. Maybe you can try to bait them into those cells and lock them in. Chain link, the only thing that can stop a cat. Oh no, ah, you saw me, ah. Now we play a bit of Ring Around the Rosy and uh, lock the door. Yeah. Taste of your own medicine, motherfuckers. Oh, poor Pablo. Do you see that guy on the ground over there? He was rebooted. I don't want to lose my memory. I'm so scared. That would be pretty creepy. Or not creepy, scary. Pablo's friend got rebooted. This recovery center has done me the greatest good. My mind is clear and lucid. I'm an exemplary citizen now. Hey. I'm pretty sure I can probably pick up his old memories. If there was an option to give him something. Let's remember. Ooh, I should probably be going. I'm hungry. This poor fellow. Seems that the sentinels are ruthless when it comes to defying them. That's what I feared. They have completely erased him. Eesh. No more emotions. No more self-awareness. No more memories. Please, let's not get caught. Alright? I know. This game definitely took a dark turn. Alright, is he a police officer? Kapoom! <laughs> hey, don't go me in trouble. I only have 758 years left. And then I'm free again. Al Kapoom. Alright, so now we gotta open this cell. Hmm, this is gonna be fun. We have to get like all three of them, or both of them in here? Fuck. This is gonna suck. <sighs> hey, don't come here, don't go over here, ah! Close that door. Shit. This one got out. There we go. Lock it, lock it. Woo! Did it. Huh? John Wick 4? I don't think I ever saw 3. I saw one and two, but I was drunk when I watched both of them, so I don't remember. I do that a lot. I watch, like, movies that I'm not super interested in when I'm drunk. And then people are like, have you ever seen this movie? And I'm like, yeah, but I was really drunk when I watched it, so I don't remember. <laughs> the other thing I do is I watch, like, kid movies, like Disney movies when I'm drunk. Like, I've watched Frozen, like, four times, but it was... Every time I was drunk, so I don't remember a lot of it. Oh, let it go. So many times I had to sing that with kids. You're lucky. Okay, it was huge five or six years ago. Like, <coughs> the JL, the Japanese linguist teaches the JTE whatever he would uh, be like let's sing let it go and I'd be like ah because that game was super popular and you're teaching elementary school kids so what else are you going to see this door it's the only way out of this jail I think we can open it from that control room over there you have to find a way to get access to that room though let's look around
Although one of my teachers in my junior high school, she loves Backstreet Boys and was like, there was a week or a month straight where like it was Backstreet Boys. So that sucked. We're in luck. They left the keys in the door. Hop in the back of the truck. You should be able to jump over the fence to access the secure area. She's like 35, 36. So she's just the right age. <coughs> so every time I had class with her, I had to listen to Backstreet Boys. I was like, ah. Oh. This month it was uh, Aladdin, um, Whole New World, which isn't bad. Reminds me of my childhood. Alright, once we open this, I think I'm going to log off for the night, because I am hungry. I gotta go get food, and I've been streaming for like three hours. Uh-oh. Sandals, run! Once we get out of here. Bitch left me. Bitch left me. Here I thought Clementine was my friend. She just up and left me. That's new. Like an actual cutscene. I don't know. Fucking Clement died. Like I'm semi fast. Didn't even look. She just like assumes I was there. <laughs> She's going. There's no way we'll all make it with the sentinels on our tail. I can distract them for a little while, but you have to go. The Outsider's Manifesto says, we must go outside at any cost. I wrote that. <laughs> She's quoting herself to me. You're one of us now. It's not that everyone has to get to the outside, but one of us has to. Oh, we got the key. Now go. I'll keep you in my RAM, little Outsider. Not if she gets her memory erased. Oh yeah, I forgive her. She sacrificed herself for me. That's one way to get me to forgive you. Sacrifice herself. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Palpatine. Palpatine. I still can't... Like, that twist... And the latest uh, Star Wars movie. I was just like, really? <laughs> really? He's back. The fuck? <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly. Palpatine is back. He's been running this whole thing the whole time. Ah, oh, fuck. Really? <laughs> I mean, yes, I know Vader's dead, so you lost, like, the big baddie, but anybody, new person rather than Palpatine. Bring Mace Windu back and he's, like, been turned into a Sith or something like that. Nah, that's true. We could be a cat conductor. I'm curious how much more of the game there is if I'm getting on the subway to get out. Right. Although according to uh, to um, Samuel L. Jackson's own headcanon, he's not dead. Samuel L. Jackson says in his mind, Mace Windu is still alive. He's just biding his time. Maybe that'll be the next 
next uh, Star Wars. <laughs> okay, we're going to allow that one too. <laughs> yeah, maybe the next uh, Star Wars series will be Mace Windu. Back, motherfucker. Kitty cat driving it in the subway. That would be pretty awesome. Rated R, Disney Plus, Mace Windu, motherfucker. Alright, so we are in a new place, which I think means this is a good time to stop. So, thank you for watching. Mike and Snow, who's probably asleep by now. But I am hungry, so I will get off for the day. I may come on later. I don't know. My wife's going to be gone for most of the day. She has stuff she's got to do. But yes, I will see you maybe tomorrow morning. Because my wife also has stuff she has to do tomorrow morning. So I may stream for like an hour while she's out. Or if not, I will see you Monday after work. Do you have work on Monday? Or are you on... Oh, you lucky bastard. So you're officially on summer vacation. Yeah, I have to do speech contest. Bullshit. But I get to spend time with one of my favorite students, so I don't care too much. But yes, I will be back maybe tomorrow. Check my... Twitter, if I'm not on tomorrow, I'll be back Monday. So, thank you for watching, guys. See you later.